Well, that wasn't much cop, was it, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try right. harder. Let's try harder. Uh, how you doing, gentlemen? Very well. Wonderful. Yeah? Great. We have Russell and Chris of Editor's Fame oh, in yeah. the studio right now. Hello. Hello. You all right? Yeah, lovely. What you been up to, gentlemen? Sleeping. Been on tour. Apart from eating paninis and lilt for breakfast, which <laughs> oh, let me yeah. tell you, I'm no ni nutritionist, <laughs> but I don't reckon that's that good. <laughs> no, it was like a fruit splash lilt as well, which is not great. <laughs> I, thought, I thought it was a, a kind of Diet Coke. <laughs> which would have been so much better for you. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But it was not. Hey, so what's been going on in your world? You're just finishing an epic UK tour, right? Or you, yeah, you finish on... To, on Thursday. On Thursday in Nottingham. AKA I got the facts. Tomorrow. AKA yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, how's it been? It's been fantastic. Yeah? Yeah, we've had a great time. It's been really, really good. Chris, not so sure about that. No, it is. Yes. I was just adjusting my boots. No, it has been brilliant. Yeah. It's been, we're coming to the end of it now and we're all kind of getting a bit weary because it feels like we've been on tour forever because we came straight back from America and had just one day off before. How did it go in America? America? It was wicked. How bad, was cracking it? America? Yeah, pretty easy, wasn't it? Uh, done now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's that wrapped job, up. Job done. Yeah. Uh, is it selling well over there? Uh, flying off the shelves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's going all right. Not, <laughs> not as many as a Nickelback record. <laughs> oh well, listen. I mean, one can only uh, only hope to emulate the success of emu of, of yeah. Nickelback, yeah. right? Always. <laughs> They're actually quite nice fellas, Nickelback. Sure they are. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, they are genuine. I'm not mad, mad on their music, but they're quite nice fellas. Uh, so it's not been flying off the shelves in America just yet, but it is flying off the shelves here, right? Uh, Number yeah, one record. Good. Number one in Germany also, or in Holland, or somewhere like that. Uh, <laughs> or number yeah. two in Holland. I think it was number two. In number Holland. two in Holland. Yeah. It's done half a million here, right? It's, uh, no, not that all many, all but all it's, 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 it's here. That's what it says here. I got this from your PR department. That's what it says. That's what it says. I think so. Always what we like. <laughs> Look, rounding up to the nearest couple of hundred thousand, it's done half a million, right? <laughs> rounding up to the nearest half a million, it's done yeah, half a million. Half exactly. <laughs> um, okay, so that's great news. And, uh, and so what happens now? Electric proms. Electric mm. proms this evening with the strings. Are you um, excited? We are. We rehearsed it in, um, in Brixton, uh, a couple of weeks ago, and, um, yeah, it gave us a few goosebumps, so... Is that how big in the game you lot are now? They're having to, like, most bands go to them to rehearse, they come to editors to rehearse. <laughs> well, you know, we were playing Brixton at the time. Yes, yeah. <laughs> exactly! <laughs> so it kind of made sense just to get the four of them in there and just have a little fiddle. It's just the four of them? It's, uh, it's a string quartet. Mm. Yes. Ah, okay. I thought we were going to have this whole massive thing, you know, like well, I was getting pitched on it was the BBC Orchestra. <laughs> no, really, well, it's, in Co it's in Coco, you see, so uh, <laughs> we'd have to sacrifice about a hundred punters to get an orchestra in. And we don't want to do that because that is, that's, that's bums we're, on seats, that's money in the bank, right? Men of the people we are. Yeah, absolutely. We would sacrifice not, our music. Not <laughs> men of the orchestra. Uh, now, you're going to pick a couple of tracks for us today? Yes. What's the first one going to be? Elbow and Any Day Now. Any particular reason? Um, any day now, how's about getting out of this place? We were in Stafford at the time, so we, uh... <laughs> wow, did you plan that? I didn't plan that, no, I just you thought You should be it. in radio, this, yeah, this band yeah, doesn't yeah. work out, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's really good, that's kind of how it felt as well at the time. You know, we were at this horrible place and we wanted to escape and be in rock and roll bands instead, which is what we did. Okay. Easy, and, easy and, as that. And Guy Garvey led the way, yeah? He, he did, did, yeah. He did. Guy he Garvey, just in case you're not aware of Six Music fame. Of course, yeah. You can hear him at the weekends. He's our Svengali. He is, he, did he, he help you make- Svengali, maybe, you could Sven say. Eh? Oh huh? my god. Huh? Hang on a minute. I could work in radio too. I'm a bit worried yeah. about my <laughs> job now. <laughs> Lo only local radio, that. For that <laughs> for in that Stafford, game. probably. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, no offence to anybody in Stafford listening right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Chris is pulling funny faces. <laughs> um, okay, so Guy Garvey helped, he helped on the first record, didn't he? he uh, we produced uh, a B-side called uh, Let Your Good Heart Lead You Home. Okay, so he uh, almost worked on the first <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Quite make the cut. Um, it was it was uh, it was pretty amazing for us to work with uh, one of our heroes though. So but not amazing for your A and R man, obviously. <laughs> yeah. he didn't, he didn't I think agree. We'd, we'd already done the first record anyway, and we, we just yeah. you know he he was kind of a fan, and you know he knew that we were fans, and said why don't we do something? Oh, so much mutual appreciation. It was, there was a lot uh, of love. Here's any day now. It's elbow on six music. Elbow. Might finish any day now as well, that track. <laughs> uh, so, gentlemen, uh, what have we got coming up? I believe there's a European tour. There is, uh, which starts about a day after our UK tour. Um, so, over in uh, Belgium. 
Okay. okay, and then you're going up, you're gonna be in Amsterdam at, the, at Halloween, right? We are. And um, you're dressing up. It's, it's gonna be talk. special. There's talk of dressing yeah. up. Yeah, anything, any, you got any, you know, you kind of earmarked any particular outfits that you wanna be wearing? Um, well. well if you go as a dead version of me to Halloween, yeah. so I'll do that again. Is that what you do? Yeah. Just me. When did you, when, when, when did you kinda of take on that? A couple of years ago. You thought this would be good? I thought, yeah, if I just go as me, but dead. Okay. Ed's gonna wear a, a skeleton outfit. I think I should go as Frankenstein and Thomas Dracula. Mm. I think that would work. Frankenstein's definitely working for you, Russ. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All the back yeah. <laughs> 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 Cheers, cheers. It's not miles <laughs> off, do you know what I mean? <laughs> 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 Where are the other two, by the way? Um, Best in bed, yeah. Really? So you drew the short straw this morning, <laughs> then? Essentially, yes. Yes, yes, we did. You're, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, well, good, good, good. And then I believe there might be some writing going on as well, is that correct? Yeah, we're gonna have a month off over Christmas and, um, hopefully write some more A tunes. month off? How dare you? Yeah. I know. Well, we won't be because we'll be working Because you'll be writing. So yeah, when, I, when I say month recording. off, yeah, we'll be yeah. in the studio. Working on what, then? I don't know, just uh, anything, new songs and old songs and... You gonna get Guy know. Garvey back in the studio? Or that didn't really work out? Oh, it, no, it worked out tremendously. Okay. Uh, well, maybe, you never know. What about, are you gonna get in with old Jackknife again? I think we're gonna do stuff with Garrett, yeah, for now and then see... Cause you know what, I heard the new, f that new Flux record by Block Party. Yeah. And... Do you believe in life after love? I'll tell you what I do believe. I What's believe it? they might be biting your sound a little bit. Oh, do you think? Oh, yeah. That's, that's, that's nice. That's a compliment. Yeah. Yeah, wicked. It, it, uh, it was editors-esque. It's, it's a bit New Order-esque, I think. Well, which is know, kind New of Order, Joy Division. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go down that street <laughs> again, but there we go. <laughs> um, okay, guys, well listen, thank you very much for coming in, as always. Is that is. I, I, well, we, I mean, we can chat on. Go on, let's keep going. <laughs> yeah. uh, what's yeah. what's going to happen over, you're going to go out looking for more antiques and look, Tom, uh, Tom, <laughs> Chris always has the most fantastic jewellery. Thanks, thanks. Always. Oh, well, yeah, I'll it's have a nice little, little piece. <laughs> have to, you have to go big up to my friend Zelia who uh, scouts them out for me. And Is that what Zelia's out there looking for stuff right She's now? Hook yeah, I'm seeing her later on. She's gonna. I'm gonna get hooked up again. You've got a diamond encrusted skull coming out of, a, <laughs> out of a, a shamrock or something. Yes, that's exactly what it is. That's so fresh. Where'd you get that in Ireland? I did not. No, no. This is uh, this is, is a uh, Damien Hirst piece. I know you're big in the game now. Come on, <laughs> big in the game. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you who, who my sources are, where my sources come from. Okay, and uh, and what about what about how's all the Le Corbusier chairs and all the rest of it? How's all that going? It's all fresh, yeah, all yeah. fresh. Still need um, still need wearing in. Okay, because obviously I haven't been at home, but poor <laughs> poor Ox bought all this bought all this stuff for his house. Hasn't been there to use it. No, afraid not. No, terrible. Christmas. Oh, yeah, Christmas. Christmas. I'm gonna do, so, do a bit of sitting down. Some serious down. wearing in <laughs> in serious Christmas. serious sitting down. Uh, right, we've got a, uh, another choice from you guys. It's by a man called Matthew Deer, who I know very little about, so you're gonna have to fill me in. Um, he's from the US, he's very good, dance orientated, and, uh, yeah, he's ace. <laughs> That's in a, in a nutshell. Yeah. And we weren't sure we were gonna have the track you specifically wanted, but you said, it's alright, I don't know him by name anyway. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> apart from Don and Sherry, the one that you're gonna play. Which you do know. Which I do know, so. And you love? Yeah, I love all of his records. Well, I'm, we're both big dance music fans anyway, so this is one of the Never best dance records. Never told that from your, from your music, that's quite weird. Mm. Uh, gentlemen, thank you very much. Enjoy the Electric Proms tonight at Coco. If people do wanna go down there, can they still get tickets? Hell no. That's it, sold out. Sold out, returns only. Ago. Returns only. Get outside in the queue yep. or tout it. Have a go. <laughs> Not that we condone that. Not at all. Uh, here is Don and Sherry from Mr. Matthew Deer.